Meanwhile, heavy rains in the valley have led to flash floods in various places. Bridges have been washed away by flash floods and more than 15 villages have been cut off. Water logging has been reported in various places and people living close to water bodies have been asked to move to safer locations. Right, so these are the details that we can now bring you. Uh, we've seen flash flooding that's taking place in uh, the Kashmir Valley. In fact, uh, because of the heavy rainfall, flash flooding has led to a number of villages also being completely cut off. Uh, because of this, uh, bridges, have, in fact, have also been uh, washed away in some cases, uh, disrupting normal life in a, in a very big way. Uh, we'll, we'll go across to my colleague, Meir Farid, with the details in just a bit. But, uh, in fact, uh, these are pictures. You can see the amount of rain that has uh, led to this flash flooding. Uh, this, of course, is, uh, had severe, a severe impact already on the bridges. Uh, which connect various parts of the valley. Those bridges have been washed away in many cases. My colleague Mir Farid is now joining us on the phone line. Uh, Farid, uh, tell us what's going on here and uh, what the impact has been of these of the rainfall, but more so of the flash flooding. <laughs> yes, Viren, uh, these are rains, uh, heavy rains that have lashed to the Kashmir Valley from the last some days. And in fact, that has led uh, to a very difficult situation for uh, the Valleyites. In fact, uh, we've uh, got information that most of the rivers are flowing at a very high mark. And then to add to that, there has been flash flooding uh, in various parts, uh, especially if you talk of North Kashmir, Tangmag area. Uh, there, a bridge has been washed away, which has led to more than 15 uh, villages getting disconnected. Uh, hundreds of uh, people have uh, been rescued uh, from there. Uh, then to add to that, the latest is that there have been, uh, unfortunately, three casualties because of uh, rain-related incidents. Uh, in Bandipura, two people were dead when uh, a tree fell on them. And then another incident in Kangan where another uh, nomad, in fact, was uh, killed when he was trapped in a flash flood. Uh, people at various places are themselves uh, basically pulling in at the village level and trying to plug breaches because most of the rivers, as I said, are flowing, uh, overflowing, and that has led to a lot of pressure on these embankments. And uh, at several places, there have been breaches. Uh, several villages have also been inundated. So it is really a very uh, difficult situation. The administration says that they're trying to reach out to wherever there is an SOS. But then, uh, as I said, uh, it is uh, uh, massive rainfall, and uh, the effects have been felt Pan Valley. Uh, even in Srinagar, there has been massive water logging. Uh, several uh, uh, low-lying areas have been completely inundated. So the situation is really grim. Uh, people are hoping that... Uh, Rain will stop. Uh, the Med Department says that uh, rainy weather will continue till uh, late evening. So still there is a chances, uh, there are chances of rain, and that could really further deteriorate the situation. So uh, really a bad situation right now, and uh, uh, the SOS coming in from various areas. And uh, right now, administration uh, kind of uh, 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 keeping its people alert, sending them to various areas and trying uh, its best uh, to reach out to people. Right, uh, so Farida reporting for us uh, from Kashmir where he now says three people are dead due to different rain-related incidents. Two killed as after a tree fell on them in Bandipur and one dead in Kangan due to flash flooding. Thanks uh, Farida for joining us and do continue to track that story for us.